but the truth is starting over in my 30s has been a beautiful thing But ooh, my makeup looks so good! So this is what this looks like. Today we actually have a lot of fun stuff happening. You think I was gonna leave this at TK Maxx? Absolutely not. This is the body. <laughs> For everything you've been through, like you're still here, you're still smiling, like congratulations. This is like the end of summer. I hate feeling self-conscious. I hate it. As we journey through life, we experience seasons of growth and transformation, much like the changing of the weather. Sometimes life is in spring, full of potential and new beginnings. Other times it resembles winter, marked with challenges that cause us to hibernate. But there's something about fall. The early mornings in the fall bring a crisp clarity. As summer fades and autumn settles in, there's a gentle stillness to the air. It reminds me of the cyclical beauty in nature's transition. Seasons change, much like those seasons in life change, and each sunrise becomes a testament to those shifting seasons, painting a new world with every passing day. Hello! Welcome to another weekly vlog. My name is Ifema. If you're new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm on my way to everyday people, you guys. I don't know if I went last year, but I think I went the year before. It's been a work day for me. Saturday has turned into a get the vlog ready for Sunday day, but I actually was able to take my time and pull a look together. I think I underestimated how much weight I've lost or how smaller I am. Like, let me put it that way, because technically I've not lost any weight. But um, this jumpsuit, if you guys have been here for a while, remember PLT sent this to me. It was actually kind of loose then, if I remember correctly, but it was not, definitely not this loose. I'm trying to decide if I can get away with it. Like if you look at it from the back, it's, it's really big. <laughs> and I'm just like, ugh. I really wanted to wear this like it just doesn't fit right like it's supposed to be corseted and the annoying thing is it fits fine on the thigh and on the bum it's just the top that's too big like it's so big you can actually see the tag but yeah I was gonna film a TikTok and I'm like I don't know if I like this outfit enough to film for TikTok <laughs> you're moving because you're on my desk chair <laughs> so I'm wearing my sambas this jumpsuit that I literally am going to have to be doing this all night. I already know. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I care enough about this jumpsuit or I like this jumpsuit enough to get it tailored. At least not here because they would charge me so much to tailor it here. Maybe next time I go to Nigeria. It definitely is too big. I'm wearing this black crossbody bag from Mango because I want to be hands-free. Everyday People is a party, by the way. I don't even know if I've explained it properly. But yeah, this outfit looks crazy. What is this? The main reason why I wanted to wear this is because I feel like it's the only dressy thing in my wardrobe that will look good with trainers. And I'm definitely wearing trainers. I'm just going to rock it because I, I honestly don't have the mental capacity to start planning a new outfit. So this is the look. This is the face. I hope the filter's off. Okay, good. I turned the filter off because I actually think it looks like better quality without the face filter, funnily enough. I feel like my nose contour looks really harsh and the camera it does not look that harsh in real life but nothing we cannot fix I like the way my makeup turned out I'm just not sure about my outfit Ugh, I, feel, I hate feeling self-conscious I hate it I feel like this is gonna be one of those looks where I'm like pulling it up every five seconds but it looks it looks cute at the same time it doesn't <laughs> I can't explain it properly. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm wearing for my fragrance because I'm actually very excited. Maison Crevelli. Tuberose, no, not tuberose, hibiscus 
Mahajad. I finally got a sample. I've been wanting to try this fragrance for the longest time. I have tried it in store actually, but it's one of those ones where they just spritz it on your wrist so you can't really tell if you like it. Is my face in focus? Yes. Okay. Uh-oh. I knew I was going to like it. I heard a beauty fragrance YouTuber <laughs> describe the notes in it and I was like, oh, I'm definitely going to like that. Oh Lord, I feel like I, I'm, I'm always adding to my perfume wish lists. It's such a problem. It's such a problem. Like, I can totally understand how someone like Fumi Monet or Jackie Aina has like a wall full of perfume. Like it's just, it's so easy. Oh, this, is, this is like the end of summer. This is what this fragrance smells like to me. Oh, it's so good. It gives me Delina, but not Rose if that makes sense. It has the same fruitiness to me as Delina and the same like floral tones of Delina but it's not rose. Oh, I love these kind of fragrances. I feel like I want to save it but it's literally almost done. I have my DJI Osmo Pocket 3. I have some Tic Tacs. Yes I do. I'm gonna take a pressed powder and my lip combo. Mac Chestnut as the lip liner. MAC Teddy 2.0 as the lipstick and then on top I was wearing Reef by Maybelline this lip gloss that's what I'm going to take for makeup and then for my pressed powder I think I'm going to go with Charlotte Tilbury because it's slightly smaller than the YSL and a clean powder puff and then I'm going to take my cuticle cream this is from Amazon I'll have it linked in my shop. The main reason why I'm taking this is because it acts as like a hand cream and a cuticle cream. You guys know I am natural nails and I'm not going to lie today. I did feel quite self-conscious. I'm like, you're going to a party, you haven't done your nails. It's like, I'm not used to this. Let me try and take my top up. While I was getting ready, I was catching up on Sophie's vlogs. Her channel is called The Oddity. I just love, love, love seeing black women win. I don't know how to describe it, like the way it just warms my heart. Like she is someone who, I don't even remember when I followed her, when I discovered her, but she is a 27 year old content creator living in New York. She's from Nigeria. Her growth has been so inspiring. Like, oh, when I tell you, she is doing such amazing things. Like it's, it's actually amazing, honestly. Sometimes I feel like there is really no reason to doubt yourself. This might be a bit much for you two. There are so many people who have accomplished what I want to accomplish. It's not like there's a lack of representation. It's literally possible because I've seen so many people do it. She is literally living the dream right now. She's a full-time content creator. She hosts different gigs for different companies, she's traveling around the world. She's living life on her own terms. As someone who aspires to do the same, I love catching up on her vlogs and seeing what she's been up to. Cause I feel like every time I see what she's been up to, it's something amazing. She recently lost her job. Well, catch up on her vlogs, I'll link her down below, but she recently lost her dream job actually, not just any job, her dream job. And literally like the very next vlog is, oh yeah, I got five new opportunities. <laughs> it's like, when I tell you rejection is literally God's redirection, like that has been my testimony for 2024. It's actually insane. I remember when I used to pray to God that I wanted to be a full-time content creator. And yeah, surely this wasn't the plan to just like be made redundant and have this be my only source of income overnight. That was not the plan. But some way, somehow, I am a full-time content creator now. I do have the job I wanted to have. I'm just so expected and so hopeful. It's all gonna work out. I don't know how, I don't know what the path is gonna be, but I'm so confident that everything is gonna work out. That's honestly how I feel. This whole gig is very like trendy. Do you think I should wear these glasses? I feel like it kind of takes away from my face. These glasses, like I don't really see the point of wearing glasses when I spent all that time doing my makeup. I, I was toying with the idea of doing something different to my hair. I don't think I have the time for this, more importantly. I do think that this jumpsuit would look nice with my hair up though. It doesn't fit well enough for me to be highlighting that. <laughs> so yeah, jewelry is from Monica Venader. I will have 
all of these pieces linked down below the only thing that's not from monica venator are my earrings which are from zara this is also from zara my watch is from seconda ultra human ring and this is also from monica venator so everything will be linked in the description box the jumpsuit if it is still in stock i will link it if not i will look for something similar to link and then this bag is so good for days like this when you don't want to big bag but you need to carry something so i'm going to film my look for tiktok which means i need to get rid of all this stuff in the background i'll see you guys in my uber <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Happy Sunday. I've been working on my vlog. It's all edited and ready to go, but I've been working on trying to think of like an interesting title <laughs> that might make people want to watch it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I was watching this guy's video yesterday about how it's really hard to like cut through the noise if you are creating videos that like so many people create so like the title weekly vlog there's so much competition because everybody does weekly vlogs and when you type in weekly vlog on youtube like the really big creators are going to come up that's just the way it goes i've tested adulting in my 30s before that didn't really translate what i've noticed that people like to watch is like starting over vlogs 
So like starting over in my 30s. I also think like starting over at 36 might translate, but I'm about to be 37, God willing, obviously. I think starting over in my 30s, but then again, I don't really want this to be like a woe is me title because it's not a woe is me thing. Like I'm, hold on, my battery's about to die. I think what I'm trying to convey is that yes, I'm embarking on a new job. Yes, I'm single at 36. Yes, there's been a lot of transition that the world would perceive to be negative. I mean, at certain points in my life, I've perceived these things to be negative. But the truth is, starting over <laughs> in my 30s has been a beautiful thing. I've learned so much about myself that has been fundamental, in my opinion, to living a full life. Like, I feel more settled, I feel more confident, I feel more assured in who I am. I was just listening to Marvin's Room, which literally is like <laughs> not even a serious song for what I'm going to discuss. I can't even see my face because the viewfinder is really bright. But when he was saying, I'm just saying you deserve better, tell me have you heard that lately? Like that was res resonating with me because we all deserve better. But until you believe that, you will not aspire to be better. Like I have a friend and we have these sorts of conversations because we're in very similar spaces in our life. We're both um, heavy in therapy, heavy into self-work. A lot of my friends actually, now that I think about it, are heavy in therapy, heavy into self-work, heavy into self-improvement. I'm just so proud of who we are right now compared to who we were in our 20s. And yes, it is challenging. I'm not going to be here and like completely romanticize. The reality is that growth and change is hard. It's easier, it's more comfortable to stay in your comfortability than it ever is to put yourself out there and to chase a dream or to leave a relationship or to completely reroute your life. It's hard. And I think that's why so many people don't do it because it's, it's, it's hard. But I do think starting over in my 30s might be, it might need to be the title for my vlogs because that I think I think that really says a lot more about where I am. I want to document what my life looks like right now but I don't want it to be negative. So I was either thinking starting over in my 30s or trying life in my 30s again. Adulting in my 30s I don't think spoke to my content. Even life in my 30s. Like if I clicked on a vlog where someone said life in my 30s I think I would be expecting to see a very different life to mine. <laughs> Most people that are my age probably live on their own. Um, and if they don't live on their own, they probably live in a house that is theirs, be that renting or buying, whatever the situation is. They probably have a family. I just feel like there are certain like boxes that people have probably checked at this stage in their life. They probably have a like solid career. So again, I that's not really my current reality. Um, I'm aspiring to have all these things and I will by the special grace of God. But right now I'm in a building season. Season. I've actually said rebuilding in the past and that's wrong. I'm not rebuilding. One of my friends actually called me out on that. I'm not rebuilding because the truth is all the things I thought I had, I didn't <laughs> clock that T. I'm literally building and building it for real this time. So I want people who are in similar spaces to me. So people who maybe feel like they should have it all together, but they don't right now to find my vlogs. And I think starting over in my thirties might be the right way to phrase what I'm trying to convey. So you find me on this journey of building and learning that we don't all have it together in our 30s. I want that to come across. We don't all have it together and that's okay. And I want people to like follow my journey of figuring out this whole situation called life. Ooh, what do you guys think about this thing called life? I was also thinking about in this life because in this life is something that I say a lot, like in, t in sayings, I think it's a very Nigerian phrase. We say like, in this life you can't, Come and die. It's like something like that. Starting over in my 30s. I think that will appeal more to a general audience. Like in this life might be something that people see and want to know more about. 
but starting over in my 30s I think speaks to a wider demographic. I really want to get away from naming my vlogs in the same way that everyone else names their vlogs. So people always do the whole new hair plus sign, <laughs> cooking plus sign, new in Zara and more. Like everyone kind of follows that same format for vlogs um, because it works and the really big vloggers do it but the truth is I need to find a way to differentiate what I'm doing from what everyone else is doing. I think starting over in my 30s really speaks to that. I want to really document what's happening in my life while like respecting and maintaining obviously a certain level of privacy but still sharing the reality like I don't want it to be all like rainbows and butterflies. It's not easy to be made redundant if you've ever gone through that it's so hard it's not easy to go through a divorce if you've ever gone through a divorce it's so hard it's so difficult to move back in with family when you know you used to have a home of your own like it's so hard so these are all things that have happened to me and like literally the span of just a few months and there's so many other things too that I just I can't even like speak on right now. I think starting over in my 30s is the best way to convey that. I think what I'm gonna do is name all of my vlogs, post my life update vlog starting over in my 30s and I'm gonna try and like speak more on like things that I've been experiencing how am I gonna do this? Oh my god. Starting over in my 30s feels so real. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do, baby. There's something my mom always says when I tell her I'm nervous <laughs> to be like, well, you asked for it. <laughs> My mom is so funny. So yeah, guys, if you see starting over in my 30s, you know what I'm talking about. And another thing I want to start doing is simplifying my um, thumbnails, I think. I don't know. It really just depends on what kind of photos I have. Oh, that's my alarm. I told myself that I was going to... Alexa, stop. That I was only going to work on this part of the vlog. Alexa, stop. I told myself that I was only going to work on this part of the vlog of like strategizing for an hour. And then I was going to get up and go. Because if you leave me... <laughs> I will sit here for a thousand years, that's just the truth, and strategize and do all sorts. I also want to take a photo for my thumbnail for today's vlog. I didn't take any photos in last week's vlog, so I can't do my like usual collage thing. So I'm actually going to put on my dye lab kaftan and go in the garden and try and get a cute photo. I'm actually trying to get a cute photo for Instagram as well, and then quickly edit that and put it out. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about the starting over in my theory and my starting over in my 30s title. I have noticed that like being a trend that people use for titling videos on YouTube. So I'm hoping that it helps me get some more eyes on my vlogs. Uh, I wanted to just you guys about yesterday. Everyday people. Um, everyday people is so much fun, honestly. Like if you just want to go be around black people and listen to really good music and just dance, you will have a great time. Like the first time I went to everyday people, I think it was in Hackney. So it was really out of the way. So I'm really happy that they've chosen somewhere that's a bit more central. Like it's in Wembley now. I feel like Wembley is pretty easy for most people to get to. I also like Box Park because it's big. There are like so many different sections. I tried to vlog a bit but I honestly was just having a good time. Yeah I remember the last time it was like impossible to get a drink. Like this was way more organized. So much food. It was just great. I had a really fun time. I think that it really is a reminder to me that I can have fun anywhere. People in London are down to have a good time. You just kind of have to know where to go. Yeah, the vibe of everyday people was nice. Like people were really friendly. Everyone was talking to everyone. It wasn't like the typical carrying face as we say in Nigeria. It wasn't like that. It was very much so like good vibes, friendly vibes. A really good combination of all sorts of music as well. So it was like throwback hip hop and R&B, more current hip hop and R&B, soca, bashment, reggae, afrobeat, amapiano, like 
just great vibes and everyday people if you don't know it's a touring party i think it started off in america so of course there were lots of americans <laughs> there yesterday as well but yeah i think it started off in america they're always traveling all over the world i've had one in lagos before obviously they're in all the states in america all over europe i think they were in london actually last month check them out on instagram and see when they're coming to a city near you you will have a great time which reminds me someone asked me for the link to my shoes let me just quickly post my look for yesterday make sure you guys follow me on ltk i'm getting a lot better <laughs> if i do say so myself i'm getting a lot better at posting my outfits on ltk and obviously if you shop through any of my affiliate links you are helping me it is greatly appreciated so check out my description box down below i have links to everything in my description box i think i'm going to quickly get myself together so that i can take this photo for my thumbnail for today's vlog and then i actually want to figure out what i want to do with the rest of the day i don't think i have any work or anything that i have to do today so i think i'm going to take the rest of the day off but i want to get out of the house because the weather does look quite nice do, now what a girl gotta do to make you see that we should be together you and me Happy Monday, you guys. I don't think I've seen you guys since yesterday. Yeah, I definitely haven't seen you since yesterday. We went to the gym today. I also went to the doctors today. I got my blood test done. So it's been a full on day. And then I came back and I filmed a couple videos, hence the full face of makeup. I still have all of my lighting. I don't know if you guys can see, but I actually got a couple packages. So I thought that we could do an unboxing. And I'm wearing my new caftan from the market. The weather's been so nice today, you guys. This is it. The little caftan I got from the market. And then you can shape it, the waist a little bit if you wanted to. But yeah, I'm so happy that um, the weather's nice enough and I can wear all these little caftans I got. It's so nice. We have like a last stretch of summer. I'm so excited. But yeah, my makeup actually came out so nice today. I've really been enjoying just taking my time and doing my makeup. So I went with a dark purple shade from actually let me show you this is the soft glam palette by anastasia's by anastasia beverly hills and i mix these two colors mulberry and dusty rose you can't really see because the let me see if i can put this light back on now you can kind of see the real color can you see it's a purple color anyway you know what i should have said you should do if you watch the video that's going out on like right before this video you'll see this makeup look i actually was able to film two videos today and i'm hoping that tomorrow's like a really good editing day that's the plan <laughs> let me not stay here and start rambling so this i picked up from my osmo pocket 3 it is the multi-use magnetic mount so this is by a brand called sunny life but lots of brands do it i'm really hoping this is easy lord help me so what i'm imagining is that it goes into here 
it opens. <laughs> I was about to say, there's definitely something I'm doing wrong. Now one thing I've noticed, if something feels hard, you're probably doing it wrong. So this bit comes out like this. You can use it as a tripod or you can close this bit and this bit is actually a magnet. So the way I've seen people use this is like at the gym, you can put it on some equipment. I don't use this in the gym, but you could do that. And then I've, the main reason that made me buy it was that you can clip this to a shopping trolley. It'll clamp onto the trolley and you can get really cool views that way, but it is a bit finicky. The second thing I'm gonna show you guys is another Amazon buy. I'm very excited about this one. I bought myself a Bible. This is the she reads truth bible i'm actually more of a reading the bible on my phone kind of girl like i haven't had or used rather a physical bible in such a long time and i just felt like it would be nice to have a nice bible and um i wanted a bible that had like a devotional so this one has actual devotionals that you can read oh it smells so good i got this one because i'm not gonna lie it had an aesthetic cover because a lot of the bibles have like really colorful covers and I just wanted something really simple and I like how compact it is. I've always admired people that carry physical Bibles to church because I don't. <laughs> but ooh, my makeup looks so good. I'm so happy I've taken off that skin filter. Gosh, you can really see the details on my face now. Before, I just kind of blurred everything. But yeah, back to the Bible. This is the Christian Standard Bible. I didn't know that's what I ordered. I thought I ordered the NIV version. So hopefully it's not too different, but the reviews did say that it was a lot easier to understand. So this Bible came all the way from America. I don't think they sell it here in the UK. I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. It feels like it's been printed really well. I really wanted to have a nice Bible. One of the things I'm going to start doing from tomorrow by God's grace is I'm gonna start waking up at 6 a.m. I had mentioned that I was gonna do 7 a.m. and I've been doing 7 a.m. but I feel like I need that extra hour in the morning to just really do all the me things I want to do. And I really wanna start getting out of the house earlier. Wakey, wakey. I'm gonna call my, <laughs> I'm gonna call my alarm wakey, wakey. <laughs> Now this is a package that I've been waiting for for over a week, okay? I hope it's what I think it is this time because last time I thought it was something else that ended up being PR. Nail stuff. Like I mentioned in last week's vlog, I am on my natural nail journey. I still am trying to decide how I feel about it. That's just the truth. I have my moments where I'm like, ugh. But I think having all this will really help me. So these are some, some things I picked up from QVC. I've never ordered anything from QVC before, but they were doing a really good deal. The main product I wanted was OPI Nail Envy. Now, I remember using this way back in the Dizay, and I remember it being really, really good. So I went to order this, and then when I was looking for it, a link came up to QVC that had the Nail Envy by OPI, and then it had this thing nail repair mode which is apparently a fast acting serum that penetrates the nail to build new bonds from within repairing nail keratin by 99 percent nails look improved from the first application there's apply two times a day on bare nails for six days for maximum eff efficacy so we're gonna do this and i'm gonna document this on my tiktok like the before and after and then the kit also came with nail polishes so like i mentioned in last week's vlog i'm going to be using nail polish i just uh don't want to do anything that requires my nails being soaked off or filed and by filed i mean like those electric files so i'm going to be painting my nails so i got some colors they came with this color that kind of gives me bubble bath vibes, but a little bit more pale. This color is called Hollywood and Vibe. These ones are giving me way more fall and, and winter, but I don't think I can actually paint my nails until I'm done with all those serums. So yeah, I got Hollywood and Vibe, and then I got this color, which is called Meet Me on the Star Ferry. And then I also got this one, which is called I'm Not Really a Waitress. This is the color I'm most excited about using. What's happening? Can you guys hear that? I feel like someone's mowing their lawn or something. Anyway, I got all five of these products for essentially what the price of like these two would have been on their own. So I thought it was a pretty good deal. 
it's just like QVC took forever to come. Like I ordered all this stuff the day I went to sell my cameras, which was literally a week ago. So only God knows where all the stuff came from. We're so spoiled in the UK. Like in the UK, things usually come on like a day or two max. But I know like whenever I'm in America, things take forever to come in America. <laughs> That's it for my little haul. Hello, good morning. <laughs> How is it going? I am on day two of waking up at 6 a.m. in the morning. And let me tell you, your body will adjust to things so easily. Like yesterday, I felt really groggy. And then today, my body naturally woke me up at 5.58. Anyway, today we are going to make Today we are going to make some baked oats. I saved a couple of baked oats recipes on TikTok. Okay, so this is a chocolate banana bread baked oats by Isabella Rasso. I'll try and link the original recipe. It seems really easy. You preheat your oven to 180 and you basically just combine all the ingredients and then you bake it. You need oats, banana, chia seeds, Pro vanilla protein powder, but I'm going to be using salted caramel because that's what I have. And then almond milk, I'm going to be using soy milk and chocolate chip. Okay, so I'm going to be using a frozen banana. Whenever my bananas are about to go bad, I freeze them to put them in smoothies and I never end up putting them in smoothies. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is put this in the microwave a little bit just so that I can mash it with a fork. Okay, so this is what we have so far. I'm just gonna mash it. Okay. Ten grams of chia seeds, so ten times four is forty. I have some milled chia seeds, so these are already blended, so they're a lot easier to digest. So we're gonna do forty grams. Again, we are four xing the recipe, which honestly I think is a little risky in case I don't like it. Eighty grams of protein powder, which honestly should just be three scoops. For me, yep. Let's change the measurement to milliliters and zero the scale. And then these are the chocolate chips I'm going to be using. These from Kirkland. this up so it definitely did not look this dry in hers let me look at hers again because I might need to add a bit more liquid but I'm gonna add a lot more milk <laughs> hers was like really wet And then she actually added more chocolate chips on top and layered it with banana. Because I accidentally put too many chocolate chips on top, I'm not gonna do the extra bit, but I will add the banana. I'm thinking I should add like some cinnamon or something, but I don't wanna play around with it because I've never made this before. So this is what this looks like. I'm gonna pop it in the oven. So I'm gonna clear up, um, make my apple cider vinegar drink, and then hopefully in the next 30 minutes I should be done with my thumbnail. Oh my God, you guys, I've been working on my Autumn's Trends video. Literally, I was working on it all day yesterday, which is why I didn't vlog. Literally, I was editing that video for over eight hours. <laughs> with all the photos and the links, it just took forever. I woke up super early this morning, got everything uploaded to the title, 
the description box took forever because there were so many links. I just need to do the thumbnail and schedule it and then we can start doing fun stuff because today we actually have a lot of fun stuff happening. what it looks like okay this is so good the girl she put peanut butter on top of hers but I didn't want to try that today I think I'll try some pumpkin seed butter on top tomorrow mm -mm. I'm so happy right now. So you can taste the protein powder. That's not bad. It's not like, ugh. But you can definitely taste the protein powder. I'm definitely going to try more baked oats recipes. I saw one that was like ginger and orange that sounds really good. I'm going to finish off my video. And then we need to do a wardrobe switch over. I'm bringing out some of my autumn pieces. Oh my gosh. We'll talk about that later. Let me finish my food. All the content is up, it's out. TikToks for the next two to three days are pretty much done. At least the one for today is done. I'm gonna post it later in the day. So now I wanted to bring out all of my autumn and winter clothes, all the clothes that I put away over summer if you've been here for some time. I think I did that on the vlogs. So I want to go through all the clothes that I put away. And I also think I'm gonna get rid of some stuff. I know I said I was gonna do this last time, but I actually have a charity collection this weekend. And I think it's about that time. I get really nervous about giving things away because I feel like I'm one of those people that I'm too eager to give things away and I almost always regret it. So we're gonna see. <laughs> this is the first vacuum seal bag. Let's see what's, what is in here. Ah. So I have a puff coat or a puffer coat from Zara. I think I'm actually gonna give this away because I ended up buying one from Diesel and it's exactly the same. I got it at TK Maxx. I don't think I told you guys about this. This is when I wasn't vlogging. It's literally the same thing. The only thing is my Zara one is hooded, but yeah, this one is from Diesel. Okay, it is insane. Like when I tell you guys the deal I got on this, Read this for me. Can you see that? Reduced from 495 pounds to 63 pounds. You think I was gonna leave this at TK Maxx? Absolutely not. This is my black blazer from Zara. You're definitely on a wonk right now. Hold on. Let me, I think that's a little bit better. Definitely, I have not worn a blazer in such a long time. Oh my God, this little leather, leather corset piece from Manier de Bois. I never wore this. Uh, okay, so it's all blazers in here. This is a cropped blazer. I actually just put up my Autumn's Trends video for 2024. And one of the things I mentioned in that video is before you go out and buy a bunch of things, just go through your wardrobe and see what you have because you'll be surprised. I have not worn a blazer in such a long time and I have too many blazers from Zara. The sleeves are too short. All of my blazers are from Zara. And this might be my, yeah, this is my Maximara vintage coat. This is definitely a staple. Ooh, remember these? I bought these loafers, again, from TK Maxx. I never wore these. These are definitely an autumn staple. Even though chunky loafers are not trending for this season, brown is. <laughs> Chocolate brown is trending. I got these again from TK Maxx Massimo Duty originally. These are the ones that I had to get sold because I twisted my ankle wearing these. I think I want to wear these today. These are my Mary Janes. Now these boots are actually my mom's. <laughs> my mom gave these to me while I took them from her. They're from Russell and Bromley and they're so comfortable. I don't know if you guys can see but it's actually just a bunch of black and brown 
beads right there. Feast your eyes. I'm really kind of in my color era, if you guys have been following me for a while. I really want some more colorful stuff. So I'm not letting myself buy anything that's black at all. Unless it's like a very basic basic that I just don't have. I almost bought a jumper that was this color. And I was like, I'm pretty sure I still have this. I wasn't sure if I'd given this away. This is from Massimo DT. Oh, great. I thought I had left this in Nigeria. Okay, I think I left the black one in Nigeria. <sighs> These are my gray skirts. So burgundy is really trending this year for autumn winter. And I'm really thinking about gray and burgundy. Like that combination is going to be so sick. Oh, I forgot about this. I think I've styled this on my Instagram already. This is from Because of Alice. I actually still really like this seat. <laughs> this cardigan from Zara. My um faux fur coat. Aww. I wore this on my birthday. Is it my 35th birthday? Yeah, it was. Oh my god. This is another thing. I think I mentioned already tartan and checks are trending this year. Even though I didn't talk about it in my video because I just felt like it's not really that exciting. Oh my god, I forgot I had this. Burgundy is the color of the season and I already have a burgundy coat. <gasps> you guys remember I got this from Joseph? Hmm, look at me. I've always liked burgundy. But this is my little top from Kai. Again, chocolate brown. Well, browns in general are in, so great. This is actually meant to be a long line top, but I mistakenly burned it when I was ironing it, so I had it cropped. <laughs> the last time I did a wardrobe clear out, I was saying I was gonna get rid of these Adenola jumpers because they're really faded, and then I changed my mind. I think it's time. <laughs> too tight for me for a really long time even when i first bought it it was too tight i think i need to get rid of this if i'm going to be very realistic <laughs> My first ever boyfriend got these for me. <laughs> I mean, I've had these since I was like, what, 18 years old? I'm GHD. I don't even know if they still work. These are definitely going to charity. Change of outfit, <laughs> and 
I haven't finished my wardrobe switch over, but we're gonna finish that when I come back. Me and my friend are going to Nobu. I saw that they were doing a lunch menu, and Nobu honestly is like, in my opinion, like probably one of the most popular Japanese restaurants in the world, and I love Japanese food, but they're pricey, okay? And they were doing a lunch menu where I think it's three courses for 50 pounds. I saw it on TikTok and I'm like, no way. So my friend Fumi's in town, she loves Japanese food as well, so we're gonna go check it out. I was actually gonna wear something completely different, but the weather, it's so nice today. It's actually like 23 degrees. So I'm bringing out this dress that I picked up in the Zara sale. I know you guys are like... <laughs> Every time I talk about the Zara sale, someone's like, why didn't you post what you got even if you weren't vlogging? Sorry, guys. I usually would wear something this form-fitting with shapewear, but because I'm going to go eat, I just want to be comfortable. This is the body <laughs> without any shapewear. And I'm like, I really hope I don't regret it, but I'm just going to suck everything in and i found these sunglasses i think i'm just trying to bring out all of my stuff that i haven't really worn a lot i found these sunglasses and i think it really ties in with my my bag and then i have my watch and my scrunchie so shoes is kind of what i'm going back and forth with i'm currently wearing these ballet flats from zara and i think i'm gonna wear them even though they have silver hardware i would love to wear my black orans but because I'm going all the way into central London. I don't know. I just don't feel that comfortable. I feel like with my toes out. But I'm also like, girl, it's probably one of the last days of the summer, at least here in the UK, where I'll be able to wear sandals. I've only been able to wear these like two or three times this year. Let me see what it looks like with the sandals. Alexa, what's the weather today? Right now in London, it's 20 degrees Celsius with mostly cloudy skies. Today's forecast has intermittent clouds with a high of 23 degrees and a low of 13 degrees. I feel like the flip-flops make it look a bit too casual. I think I'm th overthinking it because I'm going to Nobu. I think I'm gonna go with the ballet pumps. Fragrance of the day. I think we have to go to Lena and Attrape Rev. I mean, it's been my classic. Ooh, maybe we should do Soleil Blanc. Ooh, you know what? Soleil Blanc and Beach Walk. I think that would really, really be a nice combination because of the coconut in beach walk. I have a lot of work I need to do over the next few days. I just need to spend the rest of the week editing. Like, I, f I really cannot have another day like yesterday. Yesterday was very stressful. So normally I would get the train into central London, but I'm gonna try and get a bus because it's one straight bus. And if I get the train, I have to change. So I'm like, if I leave a little bit earlier and I'm not in a hurry, I can just sit on one bus. <laughs> today <laughs> so I've gone through all of my clothes and what I've done is I'm literally like this is too short this is too tight this is too small you haven't worn this in like over a year get rid of it and that's kind of like my mentality right at the moment this top I actually picked up from a charity shop and never tried it on <laughs> and now that I've actually tried it on I'm like why did I buy this <laughs> it is so uncomfortable so this is going away these are way too short <laughs> as you can see 
Um, they've always been short, but I was just trying to manage them. As a tall person, I just don't think Zara is the best place to shop. Their trousers and their skirts tend to be too short for me personally. It's not a hard and fast rule. I bought a yellow set from them that you guys would have seen recently and the trousers fit great. But these ones are going. These ones I have in gray and this color, so I'm getting rid of both of them. I'm also getting rid of this jumpsuit from H&M. I really like it, but similarly to this, it's just too short and every time I wear it, I feel self-conscious. And another thing I really need to get rid of because they're too short, but I'm just like, no, they were so expensive. But I think I'm gonna do it because I'm just, Oh, I'm in my savage mode, guys. I won the savage mode. Bug hits. You just have to do it. These insane trousers from Kai. So gorgeous, but they're just too short. I am thinking about buying the trench coat again, though, funnily enough. If you guys have been here for any amount of time, remember this dress? I bought it for my 35th birthday. I still really like this dress, but it's like super plunging. And again, it's not, also not like a full length on me. Other things I'm giving away, I think I told you guys about this dress. The neckline on this has always been quite booby for me. I think what I'm learning about myself is I really don't like clothes that I have to like tug and adjust. So anything that has a super plunging neckline, I'll eventually get rid of it because I feel comfortable in it. Anything that's super short. So all the stuff I got from PLT in my summer haul, except honestly for the jumpsuit. And even that, I think I'm going to end up getting rid of because it's too big and I don't like it enough to alter it. Remember this dress that I got? I tried to wear it um, over summer and I was like, what in the world? Like this is not even long enough to be a top. It's actually so short on me. This skirt, which is actually brand new from Joni, they sent it to me, it's too small. And I never tried it on. I don't want to go back to them now and be like, hey, the ASOS dress that I showed you guys yesterday, getting rid of that. They were making progress. These are the gray versions of the trousers that I'm wearing at the moment, too short, getting rid of that. This is the other PLT dress, getting rid of this, too short. Again, brand new, so whoever gets it, lucky for them. <laughs> And then this is a dress I've had for a really long time from PLT. I kind of went back and forth about it, but I think for me, it's just like, I haven't worn this since 2020. So you must not like it that much. And then this dress I actually really like from Misguided. It's one of the dresses I wear when um, I don't really know what else to wear, but at the same time, I think I'm over it because I've had it for so long. I've noticed like the stripes have run a bit, but this is a jumper that I tend to wear at home. But at the same time, I'm like, if these guys are coming to actually pick stuff up from me, I just want to give them everything that I'm not really sure about because I would hate to have to carry things to the charity shop in the future. And then I also found some of my old autumn winter stuff and I'm like, ooh, I really like this fedora. I used to love this thing. <laughs> this dress. The last time I tried it on, I think was about a year ago when I was going to the Usher concert. I think this dress has potential. I don't think I need to sell this dress or get rid of this dress. I think it fits a lot better than I remember it fitting. Gosh, I have a huge order from Pretty Little Thing to show you guys. I want to, to film a video on what's new to my wardrobe for autumn winter. I'm trying to make sure there's not anything crazy in the background. But I also want to show you guys because I don't think that video is scheduled to go out for another two weeks. Okay, that's scheduled to go out God willing on October 3rd. So yeah, by the time you guys see this, it'll be like 10. So maybe they'll still be in stock actually. You know what? I think I might share a couple of things with you guys. I don't know if I've mentioned, but PLT actually sends me stuff. It's actually really, really nice. I think they've been doing this with me for a while, at least a year. I think that was the first time they sent me stuff was last summer. So they let me pick out things from the website and I really tried to pick out things that would still be in stock. And I obviously want to show them to you in case you guys are interested. So I think what I've learned about the high street, at least my approach to more fast fashion stores, is I want to get more trendy things from there because I'm not gonna spend a lot of money on something that I consider to be a trendy piece personally. So I'm just gonna go for things that I think are more statement pieces. So this is a trench coat, oof might be big it's a denim trench coat and I feel like the shoulders fit good the shoulders fit good I think this kind of works yay I really like this Ooh. I actually put this in my autumn's trends video I knew this was going to be 
a shocking piece like not shocking but like a piece that would either be really great or really awful this is 100% my fault and I actually knew that I was taking a risk when I ordered it because these trousers are low rise so they're all the way down here like there's just no point I don't like low rise trousers to cut a long story short and I knew that they were low rise when I bought them but I was just so enamored with the color and I think the length would also give me a bit of issues. And they also kind of squeak when you walk. I don't know how I feel about that. You guys sick and tired of seeing me in my room yet? <laughs> I was just editing the vlog and I realized that there must have been a clip that I was filming and I just forgot to press record because I showed you guys two more pieces from my PLT haul. But I guess you're just gonna have to wait now. But I wanted to come on here and tell you guys about Nobu. I was very underwhelmed. I've been to the proper Nobu restaurant before. And in hindsight, I think that the um, hotels and the restaurant clearly have a different standard of food, at least as far as I'm aware. In general, the service to me was quite strange. I can pick up on energy very quickly. And after sitting down there, I was just like, oh, the people here are a bit off. I'm just going to be very honest. Um, I don't feel like they were very warm. And when you're usually in a really nice restaurant, like they tend to be just nice. You know what I mean? Like they were pretty much just very like flat with the service. The actual food, more importantly, wasn't great. So the deal that I had seen advertised, I think it was actually for the Nobu restaurant, not the Nobu hotels, because the menu was completely different. My friend was the one that actually booked it. The first waiter we had did not speak English very well, so I was trying to communicate to him that what we had seen online, or what I had seen online rather, was different from the menu that they had given, and he wasn't able to understand, so he called over someone else who was very short. He was just like, our menu's different from the Nobu Park Lane restaurant or whatever, like that's pretty much all he said. And um, the menu I had seen online, or on TikTok rather, was a lot nicer. It was pretty much the sort of stuff that I got from Nobu the first time I went. So there was a sushi accompaniment that you could do for an extra £20 and you would get like a platter of different sushi. They didn't do that at the Nobu Hotel. But the annoying thing is my friend, when she booked it, she said that the lunch menu was only available at the nobu hotels it wasn't available at the proper nobu restaurant so i don't know what happened there was a sushi accompaniment that i had seen on the tiktok that was not available so we just ordered two different sushis neither of them were great like i wouldn't recommend either to be very honest i've had better sushi in far less expensive restaurants i got the salmon teriyaki this the waiter asked me how do you like your salmon we serve it quite rare here i said perfect the rarer the better it came and it was dry it was supposed to be a salmon teriyaki or a different like more chili sauce and he said that we could have a bit of each sauce both of the sauces were bland like i make better salmon teriyaki at home so I was very confused. And then my friend got the chicken dish. You guys saw the smoked presentation was amazing, but it was so salty, like we couldn't eat it. And then when I was editing the vlog, I noticed that the menu said that the mains were meant to come with rice. We didn't get the rice. The ceviche was okay. I've had better ceviche. I think because I'm so big on Japanese food, I eat it a lot. So I was very underwhelmed. I'm gonna give it one more shot. <laughs> I wanna try to go to the proper Nobu restaurant and have the menu that I saw on TikTok. My favorite course was the sorbet, which is shocking. My friend, when she booked it, she got them to bring out a dessert for me that said congratulations. And I was like, congratulations for what? And she was just like, for everything you've been through, like you're still here, you're still smiling, like congratulations. You deserve to be congratulated. And I just thought that was very, very sweet. So yeah, that was my favorite course for many reasons, I would say, but it was great to catch up with my friend. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here, you guys. I've been editing it and I think it's pretty long enough. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite part of the vlog was. If you have any comments on anything, I would love to hear your feedback. Don't forget to share my videos or my channel with somebody. We're trying to grow over here. Check out my Autumn's Trend video that went live on Wednesday if you missed it. And also my How to Find a Loctician video that went live the week before. That video needs a lot of love. So make sure you check it out. Oh, another thing as well. 
I have been advertising on my Instagram and on my YouTube community. I'm still looking for a video editor. So if you edit videos or you know anyone that edits videos, please let them know. I think I'll always want to edit my own vlogs. Yes, I'm really particular about the vlogs, but everything else I think I wouldn't mind getting some help with. Honestly, the wardrobe switchover took it out of me. I've been needing to do a proper clear out forever. So there's so much stuff. They're literally like three huge Ghana Musco bags just filled with stuff. And I had to be really, really brutal, but I think I did a good job. I think there's always like for me different levels of clear outs that I do so this was like quite a severe one I was actually thinking about selling things initially and I was like you know what just get rid of it <laughs> the amount of money that I would get for anything that I had to sell I don't think would be worth the effort of selling it right now because that's just another thing I would have to do and I just have too much stuff to do so I said you know what just get rid of it. We didn't even do my nail stuff, you know, we'll do the nail stuff next week, or rather in my next vlog. I'm really excited about this vlog ending on a Thursday, so I'm gonna end it here, and hopefully this means that I will be able to get into a better rhythm with the vlogs, and I'm not like trying to sort it out right before you guys see it. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys again, and do all the things. I will see you guys, God willing, next week. Bye. <laughs>